we need to stop blaming obese people we don't need to be judgmental i mean science has evolved so much over the past few years but there is very little we understand about obesity and why it happens but what we do know is that it's not just down to diet and exercise there is much more to it i mean we know that there is a lot of interplay between various hormones in our body for example gut hormones which are hunger hormones and some of them are satiety hormones which make you feel full and tell your brains to stop eating so there is some imbalance between these hormones which may be partly why a person becomes obese now there is also this fact that the way the food is actually metabolized in someone's body for example if you give the same amount of carbohydrate protein and fat to person a and b the way it is actually metabolized and the fat is stored in these two individuals may be different so some things are beyond our control but we should do our bit so today i'm going to share with you all nine secrets of fitness so this may help people who really want to lose weight but also those who don't want to lose weight and just want to be fit so let's crack on so the first one i would say is the quantity of your food see what's on your plate and suppose you're eating two chapatis and a cup of rice with your meal then make sure that you actually slowly cut down week by week you can add in more vegetables fruits or some salad which doesn't have much carbohydrates in it so that you actually make yourself feel full so quantity is quite important and you can do that gradually the next one is quality i mean you are what you eat aren't you and traditionally we've been listening to this calories in calories out but obviously that didn't work did it and what we know that for example if you have 100 grams of chocolate cake which gives you around 390 to 400 calories and if you somebody eats two servings of peanut chat with similar calories who do you think is going to put on weight obviously the person eating the chocolate cake because although calories do matter it's important where they come from so quality of food is very important third most important thing frequency how often are you actually eating now it's very easy to say eat only when you're hungry but does that really happen in practice we all like to munch things throughout the day don't we but i always tell my patients to have two meals per day and that third meal has to be very low in carbohydrate or carbohydrate free make sure that you have healthy snacks with your hot cup of tea or coffee because it's very easy to indulge into something deep fried alongside i mean we'll talk about intermittent fasting in future videos but that's got good evidence in recent years and it's not only beneficial for those who want to lose weight or for diabetes but also for your heart and your cholesterol in general and even one to two times a week is supposed to be quite beneficial but make sure you do it under your doctor's guidance emotional eating is quite important if you feel happy we eat if you feel sad we binge eat so if you're one of those persons who links their emotions to eating you really need to address that over a long period of time if you've been under stress we know that stress hormones like cortisol can not only impact on your blood sugars but also on your weight so you need to have some strategies like yoga or meditation or anything that actually keeps your stress levels down now exercise alongside is quite crucial and you cannot just expect results only on diet so you need to burn that fat so the guidelines say five times a week of at least 30 minutes of cardio per day and you can do something like resistant training or high intensity interval training whatever suits for you but it's quite important to have that alongside diet anything that you do has to be consistent to see the effect there are no quick rewards here it's a lifelong behavioral change and that's a commitment with yourself for you and it's no good in saying do this do that unless it is safe and practical for you so it's quite important for you to sit down and actually think about practical ways of doing this you probably know this all already but unless you actually think about how i am going to make that change and sustain it over a period of time this is not going to work i hope it works for you all the best thank you